So we was in Vegas. We was in Vegas. We finally went to jail. We was in Vegas. It was a magic weekend when the feds got on Blue uh, Magic Show. And uh, when he went to jail, he called me. I go jump on a plane and go visit Blue in Atlanta. They they transport him to Atlanta. I go visit. That's how much I fuck with him. Go visit him in the jail, do all the shit. So the day Blue got his time, the day Blue got his time, Blue called me like he always do. What's up, bro? I just got my time today. Okay, what they end up giving you? They gave him five years. I'm like, okay. He was like, yeah, they gave me my safety valve, all the shit, woo, 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 right? So now here I am like, safety valve, wow. You know, I know what a safety valve is, so I'm trying to figure it out, first of all. But not five minutes into that conversation, I get another phone call. The phone call is from Baby J, BMF. Baby J say, Diggs, I got Meech on the phone. Meech want to talk to you. I say, click him in. Mind you, I got blue on the other line. Meech click in on this one. Meech come right in, Diggs. What's up with you, bro? Woo -woo. Say, you know blue went to court today, right? I say, yeah, I know. He say, look. I love Blue like he a little brother, but Blue is a rat bastard. What he do, world? Hey, hey, J D. You shouldn't have never responded to Wack. Anyway, never respond to a nigga that talk to other niggas butt naked laying on their stomach. That's first and foremost. And I, like you said, you and Blue was cool. Like that was like your little brother. But he violated his his old boss man, Big Meat, which was his boss. Called and told you, "Hey, that nigga a rat bastard." And he tried to make every excuse of uh, he didn't say nothing. Everybody know that they didn't know nothing about that limo with the million dollars in it, man. And there was only one way you can get in there. You had to have that type of code to hit the hit the turn signal, the the the, the windshield wipers, press this. You know what I mean? All that to even get to that money. And he was the only, I ain't gonna say he was the only one that knew, but the only nigga that, that had that type of information for them to even get it. Come on, man, that nigga been telling nigga got that safety valve and he know why. He went in there and told everything. The only way you gonna get that if you go in there and tell everything you know. And that ain't playing with you. And that nigga went in there and told everything he knew. Straight up. So J Diggs, hey. That nigga don't deserve a, another explanation. But Wack deserved them. Wack deserved to have his hands and feet. I mean have have a nigga put their hands and feet on him. Real talk, man. But we're gonna continue though. Point blank. Look, blue took a down with departure deal, safety valve, blah, blah, blah. Nobody in my crew on that level that Blue was on took that deal. Okay? So, I click back over to Blue. They tell me, say, you can tell Blue. I click back over to Blue and tell Blue exactly what me said. Blue, I got Meech on another line. Meech just called you a rat bastard. So, Blue said, oh, no, no, I ain't told on nobody. I ain't woo, 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 this, woo, woo, woo. So, I'm going back and forth with Blue and Meech over this uh this whole situation with him calling him a rat bastard now meach never once said that blue got on the stand and pointed nobody out and did none of the shit meach biggest thing at that time was blue debriefed now anybody that know anything about the feds know that if you take a safety valve which was blue deal he already said he'd take a safety valve he took a safety valve if you know what a safety valve is and I'm, I'm going to read to you, right? There's five things in a safety valve to, in order to get a safety valve. I'm going to read this straight from the safety valve paper. It says, no one was harmed during your offense. The person has little or no history of criminal conviction. 
The person did not use violence or a gun. The person is not the leader or organizer of defense. And the last one, the person told the prosecutor all he knows about sentencing, blah, 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 right? Just imagine what that nigga said in there and said about their organization. Just imagine. And he said this was his first time going through that. He talking about, he, I was young. Nigga, you was in your 20s, nigga. That ain't young, nigga. You knew about the streets. That's the life you chose. That's what I'm saying. You niggas, God damn it. It's all, hey, when the, we got the cars, the jewelry, nigga, the hoes, nigga, the clothes. Uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. But as soon as the motherfucker, boom, kick that door. And start the domino effect. The domino effect happened. Everybody wants to start doing this. And Blue, Blue sitting up here acting like he don't know nothing, like he didn't say a goddamn thing. This nigga told on a nigga that he had from him in high go from in high go seek in the third grade. For real. This nigga sit on all these interviews and platforms like he didn't do nothing. And then whack one hundred want to get this take this nigga back, like he know. And then as soon as Meech get out, whack uh, recanted his uh, his his comments. Wax a ho ho man, real talk man. J Diggs, you already know what's up. Meech ain't tell you that shit for no reason. Real talk man. But it is what it is man. Subscribe to the channel man. Leave your comments man. I'm out. You're telling them all about how your system works, how your crew works, and how your crew move. That was Meech's problem. Now, now I'm going to tell you something else. Blue mentioned the uh, limo. He said Meech was mad about the limo. When Meech called me, he wasn't mad about the limo. We knew about the limo. The limo came up. Now, it, uh, but the problem was he debriefed. He went and sat down with the government. If you hear him in his interviews, he said it. He went and said the feds came and got him. He was young, 20-some years old, his first case, and they took him in his room. Now, my thing is, WAC 100 keeps saying, well, where's the paperwork? Where's the paperwork? Where's the paperwork? Let me tell y'all something about the federal government, my nigga. You can't look up a safety valve on the internet. It's not public information. Okay? It's called a safety valve. It's because it's for your safety. Unless they have to open up the valve and bring you into the courtroom. And you got to tell it all. Spill it all. You get it? Safety valve. You're safe unless we need you to come testify in court. So, Blue took a safety valve where he went and he debriefed. Now, if Blue want to clear all this shit up, there's one way to clear it up. Because Wack keeps saying get the paperwork, right? Well, the fact is, Blue is the only person that can get that paperwork. He can get that transcripts. He can get the audio transcripts and the, and, the, uh, and the paper transcripts of his time that he spent in the room with them people debriefing. That's all. If he do that, That'll tell what he said and why they gave him five years for conspiracy to sell how many hundreds of kilos, whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> so with that being said, that's what I tell Wax to tell Blue. Who fucking next? Because I'm so amped up and pumped, nigga. I will break every one of you motherfuckers' faces. Who fucking